Today we are going to learn how to build a multiplexer using Verilog code. Here you can see we are building a 4x1 multiplexer which has 4 inputs and a single output and the value of output is determined by the two select lines down there. We begin our program by defining a module named mux 4 to 1 and within that we define the ports that we require. As we have seen in the pic, we require AVCD, which are the input ports to be multiplexed. Cell 1 and Cell 2 are other ports which are also input but are used to multiplex ABCD and output is the only output port. In this case, we have named it as OUT. Now we define which ports are input and which ports are output. You should notice that we have defined the output port out as H so that we could use that in the always block. Always is a procedural block which can only process the reg ports. In the sensitivity of all the always block, we define cell 1 and cell 2. If any event happens on them, the these, this block is executed. In order to define how the multiplexer works, we use the case statement and within it, we concatenate the value of cell 1 and cell 2 so that they could be monitored at the same time. If the value of cell 1 and cell 2 is 0, 0 respectively, then our output should be A. If it's 0, 1, then our output should be B. If it's 1, 0, then our output should be C. And if it's 1, 1, then our output should be D. Defining cases as 0, 1, 2, 3 will not change the functionality of our program. It's same as defining them as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1. Now we simply save our program and then compile it. As the compilation was successful, now we head over to simulate the program. For the simulation, we simply force the value over the input variables and then look for the output value. You can verify the way from here on while it simulates. We would like to say to you that you can feel free to comment any suggestion that you would like to give to us or if you feel like the program could be written in a better way, please feel free to write that in the comment section. We will definitely respond to that.